Okay, welcome. Um, so what we're doing, I'm showing you today, is essentially how to set up brackets to do some web development. Brackets is an application that we are installing, and it's a very lightweight editor, and it mimics a lot of what we've done um, so far. Um, that's it. So what I'm going to ask you to do is we are going to create a folder to save our website in. So we're going to create a new folder, and we're going to call this website. Now, inside this folder, and this is important, we are going to uh, <coughs> we're going to create a new folder and call this site. We're going to create a new folder and call this assets. Now, our site is the actual website that we're going to create. Assets are images we save off the internet, Word documents, scanned images, all that sort of stuff. The site is where we are developing. So we're going to double click this and we're going to create a new folder and call it images. <coughs> and that's it. So we should have um, a website folder. So website. Um, I'll create some my desktop. Um, you're going to create it in OneDrive so that it's backed up and then we're going to create a new folder or right click new folder and we're going to create an assets folder and a site folder and inside our site folder we're going to create an images folder so this is our website now what we're going to do is we're going to create all our uh, html css and our web images go in here all our downloaded folder files and stuff going here. So this is going to be quite small. This is going to be, if we need to edit images, we're going to work in there. And we will copy them into this one. So back to using brackets. So we can use brackets by either searching, and once we've installed it, and type brackets and start it there. Or you can, um, if you've got a desktop shortcut, you can use that. So I'm going to open brackets. And if you've used brackets before, you might get some web, some stuff there. But once, and the first time we're doing this, we're going to go File, Open Folder, <coughs> and we're actually going to browse straight through to the website, so website, and importantly, the site, and select that folder. And you're going to see, this has images with nothing in it. And it's got absolutely nothing. Brackets is just a blank canvas for us. So we're going to start doing a couple of things. Now, first thing is, I don't like this. I want dark theme. So I can go maybe View and Themes. And I can change to dark theme. I can increase my font, change my font around. But that's up to you. But I'm just going dark. And done. So now I've got a dark theme. I like that a lot better. Now we're going to create four things here. We're going to right click, we're going to go new file, and we're going to say index.html. <coughs> this is the same as in studiocode.org, we go new file and we give it a name. And we're also going to create a new file and we're going to call it main.css. So this is what we're having. Now you might notice that they're empty. So up here they're empty. Now if I want to see more than one I can actually click this and I'm going to do a vertical split and I can click there and I've got index and I've got my main uh, yep so index and I'll close it there sorry and click that and then open there. So I've got my main.css and my index.html. So here I can now just go HTML and head title my amazing fishing site. We always give it a title um, and we can use the linking in. Now if you don't know how to link CSS into your um, HTML, we can actually go into our web browser and we can look up W3Schools 
<coughs> and we could probably search um, link CSS. So, or we could go to studio code.org. Now, we don't want the ads. Add, add, add. Here we go. HTML link tag. Oh, look, it gives me this. And I can grab that back into brackets, paste it there. Now, styles.css does not exist. Mine is called main.css, main.css. And let's have a look at this. I'm going to keep doing this. I've linked it in. I've got my body tag. And I'm going to go h1 home page. So that's all I've got. Now, in my CSS, I can do things like h1, and this is exactly what we've done before. So I'm going to make it color red. I'm going to, I might even say um, body background, and it gives me all this stuff, background color. I'm going to make my background color oh, this color. No, but I'm going to do it oh, red and blue would be horrible. Um, background dark grey. Actually, I'm going to make that dark blue. And how do I preview it? So I can go in and I can go File, Live Preview. And this will fire up my previews of my site. Amazing Fishing Site Homepage. And then anytime I want to go back to that, I can flip back to brackets and I can make a change. Um, this web is about fishing. Save it back over here. Um, do I save it? Control S. I've got live preview enabled and refresh that. So refresh is either that or Control R. And then now, if I'm really cool. Um, I'm in full screen um, like this. I can grab this. I can put that in half the screen and I can put my brackets over here. If I do that though, I probably want to go no split. So I've got a little bit more room to actually view stuff. And then I can actually sit there and go P tag. I like to catch fish. Save that. And over here, I'll refresh that. Now, click on main.css to edit that and I'm going to say I don't like the font um, so I'm going to say font family and I'm going to pick sans serif font and I'll refresh that so we can see that we're starting to develop our website. Now creating extra pages right click new file and then you have to link them in as you were um, shown how to in studiocode.org um, putting images in, they go into your images folder, and the process there is, if I want to find a image, I might go to unsplash.com, stock, uh, I do unsplash, which is, do not like Google ads, there we go, um, so unsplash so they've got a bunch of big things and I want a fishing photo oh, that looks pretty cool I like that one so you can download for free and I'm only going to download it small otherwise if I download it at large I will have to resize that so I'm going to download the small one and it copies it to my downloads folder so it's there so I know that my website is on my desktop so I'm going to copy this so control C or copy uh, copy desktop website now if I was going to resize it I would paste it there now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it from there and into images now one of the things that we said is we need to not call it that. I'm going to call it fishing photo. And 
I am going to go back to uh, here and I'm in my index.html and I can now have a look here. I've got fishing photo and I can say image source equals images. I'm using enter to autocomplete and I can say width equals 300 pixels alt equals and I can sit there and because I got this from this guy I can actually I'm going to copy that and put that there and then close that tag and it tells me it's closed because it's no longer red and then I can go back here reload that and I've got my image there and my image is in my images fishing photo there and I should get an alt tag there um, when it and I can move that all around there. So that's the basics of it. Um, you're going to build navigation. Uh, again, you might want to go to W3 Schools um, and have a search for um, navigation. And this might give you, let's have a look, horizontal navigation bar. So how, it tells you how to do that. Um, and it gives you examples of how to do that. So if I wanted to, for example, do something like that across the top of my page, it actually gives me the um, CSS to do that. So that's there. And we can actually sit there and go try it yourself, and it gives me the style, and it gives me the HTML. So to, for example, to do that, I could copy this, copy in my index page this is going to go right at the top I've got that and I need my styles and this actually not including the style goes into my main.css and I can put it there and then I can go back to my amazing fishing site reload it and I've got that and I know that to link those pages in I just need to change these, the href links. So you should all be able to do that. You might be able to um, work out how to do different ones, different colors. Um, you can actually do rounded corners, um, like lots of different things. Like So I can sit there and go, okay, uh, let's just try. Um, a border radius. We've got radius of maybe 25 pixels. Don't know if that's going to work or not, but I'm trying something different. And you can have a look at that. So we can do lots of different things with that. Um, and if I want to make it a different color, um, I can change the background color to red, refresh this and have a look at that and we've got something nice like that. Um, well, nice is a relative term. Okay, so that's basically setting up your website, homepage, you're going to build out web page, you're going to build out a news page or a about page and you're going to build out two other pages. So um, good luck with that and hopefully you'll be able to follow through this. Make sure you get brackets installed before you do this. Um, you may need to talk to your teacher. It should be available on P-Drive. I'll put a copy of it in Teams and files. Um, you will need the tech password twice for that. Um, so if you go to the IT office, they will install that for you um, if you want to work on this outside of it. Okay, thank you very much for watching. And hopefully that was 